Okay. All right, removing a broken key. This is our example lock. Um, we're using this cheap lock because we don't want to ruin anything. Let's say you, it's a car door or your apartment or your house and you, you, uh, <clears throat> you broke the key off in the lock. Okay? Whoa, broke the key off in the lock. What are you going to do? Big trouble. You got to call a locksmith. They got minimum, like $300 charge just to come over. It's two minutes work. I'm going to show you how to take care of this problem right now. The first thing you're going to want to do is give a little squirt of some spray lubricant. In this case, it's silicone, but you could use like WD. You could use um, uh, like a liquid wrench or something like that. Um, one way to get them out is they sell these. This is a professional... Uh, broken key extractor tool you can see it's got a couple of sharp little let me get the autofocus going there okay there you go that's a professional broken key so this extractor baby what tool. we're gonna do is we're gonna slip it in along the uh, along this part of the key not not the flat back part but a, the part that has the uh, the keys things on it we're gonna slip it in there unless you could help it is don't push this key any further in than it already is because that's trouble so I'm trying to get it okay I got it in there okay, there we go okay as soon as I slid it right in there and I gave it like a little twist and I caught okay so let's show that again there we go that was with the broken key extractor tool It's going in a little twist and we're gonna try to pull it out okay there we go now you can take this to the hardware store and have another copy made. Of course, if you have a whole a key, another whole key, it's better to bring that to have the copy made. But the hardware store can work with this and make you a good key. How about this? If, it, if you could take the lock out, like if you could take the cylinder out of the lock, um, you, can, you can try something like this. You could, you could tap it, okay? You could tap it and get it out that way. That's another way to get it out. If you can get, if you can get the cylinder out. Okay, let's show you that again. It's in there. Broken key is in there. Okay. And if you can get the cylinder out, you can use this uh, object in motion tends to stay in motion theory. Get the broken key out. A little squirt of spray lube never hurt. Make your life easy. Just a little squirt. A hand jigsaw blade that's sold at hardware stores and home centers. Okay, it's basically a jigsaw blade. They come in a package of like five or six of them for like, um, you know, like four bucks, right? So I'm going to take my pliers here and I'm going to just break it because it's very brittle, high tensile steel. And again, I'm going to stick it in next to the key, just like my broken key extractor tool. And I'm going to give it a little twist and look at that. Okay, 350 the locksmith is going to charge you to come over. And this works on cars, it works on a, a house doors, it works on apartment doors, it works in motorcycles, boats, helicopters, airplanes, liquor cabinets, gun cabinets. Uh, um, did I mention helicopters, uh, jet planes, propeller planes, um, uh, anything that's got a, a, a lock and anything that the key could break off from a BMW to a Ford. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to cover up the name because I'm not plugging anybody, but this is the package and you can see there's like six inch mini high-low hacksaw blade. Fits uh, six inch mini high-low hacksaw. Teeth go in one direction, if you could see with that freaking autofocus. All right, the teeth go in one direction. And I actually think that now that I'm thinking about it, I think I broke it the wrong way because I broke that end off. I think if I broke this other end off, the teeth would go in easier, right? Because they're angled back. And then when I twist it to grab the key, they're going to grab better. So I actually thinking about it, again, we're going to just take a pair of pliers and we're just going to crack that because it's high tensile steel. The broken key is in there. Let's see if we can get you a better shot on that. Okay. Wait for that freaking autofocus. Here we go, we got a better shot. So I'm sticking it right next to the, right right next to that broken key, and, and that was much better. It, it didn't quite go in as far, but it only went in about a quarter of an inch, but it really gripped. All right, again, I'm gonna, you really don't wanna like stick the key in more than you have to, but this is just for demonstration purposes. 
and I'm sticking this broken off six inch mini Hilo hacksaw blade in in there next to the key the broken off key and I'm twisting a little bit and pulling and it just came a little bit out I gotta do it again I'm sticking in I'm twisting and I'm pulling and a couple of attempts it might take twisting and pulling there she is out okay so that's one more method map. broken key extractor the probe method if you have like two thin pieces of wire you can do that okay this happens to be two uh, lock picking tools but it could also be like uh, 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 two pieces of stiff uh, wire uh, I could uh, rub them on the concrete to get a little point to them um, it could be uh, two, uh, two uh, uh, little hacksaw blades, two bicycle spokes, uh, two wire brush things. And again, I'm going to just get both sides and kind of pry it up. Okay, so that's the way to get it out. Okay, here we go. There's a broken key in there. It's an emergency situation. I have to get this unlocked. It's life or death. I got a one-shot deal. If I push the key in any further, it's not going to work. But I'm going to put these needle nodes. I'm going to expand them under pressure and twist at the same time. And I'm going to try to operate this. Uh, there we go. It's a one-shot deal, though. If you push it in too far, you're going to have to go through the whole uh, broken key extractor method, which I've showed you doesn't take long. But if you don't have the tools handy, it could take long. Again, and once I'm expanding under pressure, twisting, and it's open. Now, had I, had I did that um, and pushed it in too far like that, now it's not going to... Well, actually, that's still okay, but let's say I pushed it in a little further by accident like that. Now, this lock is locked. There's no way I'm going to get in there. We could also do that, uh, which is one tool, carefully. Put the tool in there and just kind of pry it up. Now, here's a pretty ingenious way of getting a broken key out. Let's say you got a... Uh, let's say you got a, uh, a cylinder lock like this. Now, I'm not actually going to break the key on this one because I practice picking. This is one of my practice locks. But if you can get the cylinder out of the door, you can turn it around and you can use a piece of wire or a small screwdriver or a probe and you could actually push. You could actually push your broken key out. Okay, so that's another way, the push method, if you can get to the so back side. So we can drill a line. small hole. <laughs> Try to drill nice and straight. Not too fast, you don't want to burn out your drill bit. Back side of the lock, we're going to stick a small probe in there. And we're going to push. And there we go. We got the broken key out. Okay. And let's see if this uh, lock does indeed still function. Okay. So it, it locks. And here's our good key. And uh, it indeed does, uh, does now still Now just function. to show you, we've been doing all this playing around here. Um, here is the actual good key. Let's just make sure this lock is still functioning and we didn't actually damage it. Um, so we're good to go. We got the broken key out. Uh, we can take this good key to the hardware store or we can take the broken piece to the hardware store and he can make copies for us and the lock will be back in service. Nonetheless for the wear.